people. So I think that I have all the makeovers done. I think. <laughs> I I did them over several days and I just I don't know. I got confused. Um so we've got I think these over here are the homeless sims. Um hold on. All these sims over here, they were originally homeless sims. And then these ones over here, I believe, were the ones that were service sims. And then, oh, I wanted the game to be running. And then I moved in. Hold on, let me look. Okay, so this lady here, Layla Alphahad, she, um... In the description in, um, gosh, on the wiki, it said that she's got a bedroom already set up, like she has a teen daughter, like she's going to be adopting or something. So I had her adopt this Annie Tong. So, yeah, that, that happened. So she moved in there with her, and, um, you know, like I said, I moved all these people in. Either because they've got the last name of somebody else in some other town and I'm going to at some point make them all related or they had good traits or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's basically my only two reasons. Oh, that's so weird having vampires in the town. So weird. Um, I don't, I think that I did all of the setup for the town when I got here I'm yeah I did I'm telling you it it feels like it's been so long it's only been like maybe a week but to me it feels like I've been here forever and I think that's probably the problem is because I'm here and I'm doing you know makeovers and stuff which takes me a couple days you know okay more than a couple it takes me like a week to do all of the makeovers and stuff Hey, it's Ron Lee. And the problem is that by the time I get all the makeovers done and everything, I'm very much ready to get the heck out of here. Why does that look like that? Hers looks like clear over here, right? And this one, none of the other ones do. Alright, some people have started dating, blah, blah, blah. Sooner or later, our girl will find her true love. It is our goal to find her true love. I am so excited about my plans for how I'm going to do, you know, the thing that I'm going to do after I get everything, all these towns in. Okay, I didn't mean to spin it that much. For some reason, it's not doing it with the mouse. And it seems like this lady and him are just kind of like stuck where they are. Oh, look at this whole household going out in their car. That is so funny. It's like a clown car. What is she doing right now? Oh, playing her guitar. Yeah, so I'm not changing anything in the town. Like I said before, uh, there's no point since I don't have all of the um packs yet so there might be some buildings that would be better to put in if i had i don't know seasons installed or whatever so we're just gonna wait we'll get everything set up in the end and it's going to be wonderful because we're going to have every single town all connected. <clears throat> Plus maybe a couple um, custom ones. I know that I want <clears throat> a town. Why the camera's moving, I don't know. I know that I want a town... Um, that I can put, like, say the, okay, well, like, for example, Ron Lee, that guy that I just pointed out, um, in my, the story in my head, his, uh, mother, like, went into a time machine and 
disappeared and everything. So uh, this is taking a long time to load. So what I'm got to do so that she's in the family tree is I've got to make her but I don't want to like see her so I'm gonna make a or you know download a custom world or whatever and just like put all the sims like that on that world um and then there's I'm gonna get a custom university um probably the one that um my sim realty has I've used that one before and I really liked it. So, oh my gosh, somebody adopted a puppy. Let's go look. Our first animal. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Vandenberg family has adopted a brand new puppy. They are calling the little scamp Dexter. Okay, so yeah, nothing is left. <laughs> this is boring oh my gosh you know why though because i don't have the house open okay master controller no i don't want to add sim i'm like wanting to click on that for some reason i want to open that's what it is see i've gone so long without actually playing okay can i see dexter please can you let me in this house Game. I don't understand why it's doing this. There. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is. There he is. I see him. I see him. Oh no. I've got to do all the settings for pets. Aw. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I wonder what the pet aging is. Oh, I, hold on. i got to pause. Dang it, I said pause. Okay, everything's finally loaded. Turned up the volume so we can hopefully hear the dog. I I don't know why everything's lagging and taking forever to load. Uh maybe because I've had the computer on and doing all kinds of stuff today and yeah. So I'm why is it keep doing that? It does that to me in Sims 2 now, too. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm going to, at the end of this part of the video, put in... Um, <clears throat> I loaded a ton of more um, stuff packs and just a ton of stuff, which, you know... Well, obviously, makes sense that I now have a dog in my town. Um, yeah. But, so we've got uh, generations now, town life stuff, and I just installed pets. Or not installed. Hey, she got level six. I think she can learn a new song. Why does she have... It says high school diploma. Why does she have that? It just suddenly appeared in her. Oh, because of generations. Oh, I wonder what um settings I'm going to have to change because of generations. <laughs> I guess I'll just see what happens. Uh Oh, no. I wanted her to go buy a, uh, a guitar song book where's the bookstore oh there it is go shop for books get out for a while still got a truck that's good there's where that dog was he's just chewing birthday 10 days oh that's what i wanted to look at uh what are the pet aging aging ages you know what i mean let's see no i want I went dog 11, 45, 56. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm not, as long as they're not all going to suddenly age up and die, <laughs> I don't really care for now. Uh, yeah. I've 
barely played in this town. I mean, it's just kind of boring. There's not really... I don't know. There's not really much exciting in it. Maybe uh, we can, like, add some cool stuff to do when we come back. You know, add in some new buildings and stuff. These people that just met are suddenly committed to each other. That's great for them. All right. Guitar song. Drums, you know, guitar. I think she did that one. So we need flamenco fever. Learn the song. I'll give you something to do. What she want to do? Learn a new composition. Man, I'm good. I knew what she wanted before she even wanted it. Everything's loading so slow. I think it's because I have had so many things going on on my computer. Plus, I've been in and out of cast finishing all the makeovers, too. So many makeovers. So little time. I mean, look at everything taking so long to load. Holy cow. I don't know. I just wanted to run the game for like a day, you know. See if anything pops up that needs to be changed in the settings or... I don't know. Oh my gosh, my dog is scratching against my desk and it's shaking everything. Stop. Oh, that's right. I didn't do any kid makeovers. I'm like, I don't recognize him. Well, you don't recognize anybody. <laughs> but the game sure is matching people up fast. Just waiting, you know. I think what I'll probably just do is uh, high speed and be done with it and move on to Appaloosa Plains because we're finally done with the makeovers here. I'm kind of like ugh about having to do more makeovers, but. It's okay. Felix has a new home in town. There's a kitten. Hold on. Let's go see the kitten first. And then and then you can watch me show you all of the new packs and stuff that I installed in the game. Well, not packs, but the store sets feel like kind of like mini packs to me. Okay. Master controller. Open. Open says me. I want to see the kitty. But I am really, really excited. I know I've already said it once about this idea that I had. Like, I couldn't even sleep the other day because I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. Look at the little kitty Felix. He has no food or water. We'll take care of you when we get back, Felix. It's okay. Are you gonna chew that up? Aw, he thinks that it's a dragon. Oh, she knows so many people from when she was at uh, Bridgeport. She started playing guitar and a bunch of people like crowded around her. And now she knows so many people there. I just noticed she was talking to somebody. I was like, oh, she's going to know somebody here at least. I wish that it would stop doing the stories and, like, 
have the Sims, um, like, get their jobs and stuff straightened out, I would much rather it do that now. Why is that person standing there barefoot? Jonathan Keith, what is up with you? Why are you walking around with a monocle? What is happening? What is he, Dominic Shipley? I don't recognize that name. I don't... Oh, I think this guy is a, uh, science geek, maybe? He's pretty cute. Um, do you want to, oh, she wants to learn Mar Marinko sign. I don't think it would be good to date somebody that I can't even pronounce their name. Um, ask sign. And then she's probably going to want to kiss him just because she asked the sign. Okay, he's a tourist. Well, I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch all of the um, new things that I added, and yeah, I'll just high speed here until I move her on to Appaloosa Plains. It is that time again. And I just wanted to mention really quick before I start with the stuff that I just added that this was the last month that I did in my last video. I don't even know if I mentioned that Generations had came out. I never enabled it. I can tell you that. So I have no idea. I'm like going through and trying to figure out which was the last one I did in the last video. And I opened up May and it's got generations. I'm like, uh, wait, what? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So the first one that I did is June of 2011. And let's just see what the compilation says that there is. I think it might be a little easier doing it this way. Okay, so there was the Contemporary Comfort Bedroom, Contemporary Comfort Living, and Everyday Hot Summer Days. And, you know, we got this uh, massage chair came with uh, the bedroom, the Contemporary Comfort Bedroom. Let's look at that real quick. Lots of cute stuff. I really like this back wall thing here. Eh, I like it nice stuff maybe that's not what that uh chair thing came with maybe it came with the living room do, 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 do. that's where it is in the living room um so yeah uh all of this stuff comfortable looking uh really all i care about is the massage chair because it's just neat it's just neat and i like new things and i like futuristic things uh there is the everyday hot summer days um some really cute clothes and hair uh this is one of my favorites i give these to my sims a lot so yeah and uh this too although i wish it didn't have a necklace but anyway yeah i give these to uh my sims a lot um i'm not a big fan of where is it whatever this guy's wearing is that supposed to be a tie or is that like that thing that uh the one guy on scooby-doo always has i don't know anyway yeah so that was june 2011 and then they had this thing um ford focus had come out with a new car and so they had this you got the car you got a light thing and two different shirts in the skydive thing so that's pretty pretty cool okay july we had town life stuff which i still need to enable uh oh here's the oh okay and then there was whoops uh what just happened <laughs> okay wasn't i in july there we go okay 
there was the Gothic Library, and then we'll open the compilation. Okay, so the Gothic Library, this kind of spooky looking library, and it came with this Lady Raven Dancer Goth's Book of Spells, which is kind of cool because, you know, you can do spell stuff without the um, supernatural back. The dog's like scratching and I'm trying to make him stop, but I can't reach him. Okay, and then the compilation set. We have the last um, clothing set had been cool or hot summer nights. This one's cool summer nights. And the only thing I don't like is the scarf that this dude's wearing. And yeah, I'm just like, oh, whatever. This one's kind of weird, but if you did the coloration right, it would be pretty cool, I think. Okay, and we've got the luxury spa set. I like it all. I really like this fireplace. I think it's really cool. Uh, Mediterranean Villa Kitchen. Um, I actually decided not to get all of this. I just don't think I would use it. I got the pots and pans. I got the cabinet. Wait, no. I got the refrigerator and this island counter and this one. And that's it. That's all I put in for those because, you know, I just don't, I don't want the problem that I had last time of not being able to keep up with everything. Okay, and then now we got Hidden Springs. Hurrah! You know, we, I'm already in Hidden Springs. I think I did one video already. Or hidden springs okay august 2011 compilation we had the lux lounge spa luxury resort attire and back to school cool stuff here i like it all you know i like the contemporary look i'm not this this is kind of weird, but whatever. Wait, is that a stereo? Oh, I don't know. It says you, it's your decision, what it, but it's called play uh, rock all night. So, you know, I wasn't sure. Maybe it's a weird stereo. Uh, yeah, a luxury resort attire. I must have gotten all of it because I don't actually remember this at all <laughs> maybe i should go look uh and then back to school hey i didn't know that came with something else i thought that came with like generations huh okay um i actually don't recognize any of this so i don't think i had that pack installed before Okay, so I need to check and see if I have this installed. Okay, it turns out that I didn't have it, so that's good. Um, but I noticed this. This is so funny. Like, it, it says that it, the sale ends on October 12th, 2016. I guess they just, like, forgot to take it off sale. That's so funny. Okay, so we did... We talked about Hidden Springs, the compilation, Lux Lounge Spa. Oh, I didn't even write it here. Uh, the luxury. Yeah. There we go. Okay. See, it's a good thing that I'm doing this. This is not the first time that I realized that I was missing something. Okay. Warbling Wind Chimes was just a thing all by itself pretty cool see that was on sale too that is weird oh yeah and then uh there's a sim point bundle with all of these things here in it so got that okay september 2011 compilation Okay, we got Viva Las Vegas Living, 
Boho Vintage Women's and Hollywood Regency Den. There was also the Halloween stuff. I'll have to go back and get that link. So we've got Viva Las Vegas Living. Um, basically stuff that I would probably only use in a specific house, you know, for specific reasons. I don't think I would ever use it, like, otherwise. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I actually, at first, I thought that I didn't like this stuff, but after I sat and looked at it all, I was like, oh, actually, you know what? I do like these. So, yeah, I got all those. Uh, the Regency Den, um, I like this chair. I think this would go good with, uh, the, like, futuristic looking stuff and I got that because you know chess table might match something else and a, another telescope why I need another telescope I don't really know yeah I'm not even sure if I got the Viva Las Vegas living or not what I even did um there was also oh yeah gory goodies which was the Halloween pack there was the Uber Sanisim self-cleaning toilet and then Witchin Spring Ride. So we've got the gory goodies here. But the odd thing is they didn't add the Witchin Spring Ride in it. You had to either buy it separately or get it with the 2011 September uh, compilation. Kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, so you could just buy that Spring Rider by itself. And then there's the Uber Cine Sim Toilet. I did see that there's um, some fixes out for this. I don't know if, like, the Sims team ever fixed it. So now I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know, you know, you know, you know. Okay. Um, so that is everything for September, October came out hooray so okay so generations came out and it didn't have a pack and like i didn't even enable it but now hey pets is out and you know now i get to go to another town and it's kind of confusing but whatever okay so oh didn't i put the, oh no it here it is i'm blind okay so we've got the October 2011 compilation. There's a lot. Okay, there's Boho Vintage Men's Collection, Viva Lux Vegas Bedroom to go with the living room, Vineyard Villa Furnishings, and a new lot, the Re Regency Cafe. Or where the heck did Cafe come from? I'm tired. Regency Arcade which also came with this uh, gumball machine, which I, I'm assuming you can buy just by itself. Yes, yeah, see, you can get it by, your, by itself. Man, I cannot talk today. I've got a headache. I've been, like, working on this all day. Uh, unlike the boho women's, there was a lot that I didn't really like in the men's. Uh, I didn't like this. Didn't like this, didn't like this, and then uh, this hair, and then, uh, what is it, these ones? It's the ones that that guy's wearing. Is he just wearing it in a different, no, it's this one. They, they look kind of like those MC Hammer pants to me. They're like all puffed out and stuff, I don't know, they look weird to me. But anyway, uh, next is the bedroom that goes to that. I did get that fish tank and this guitar and this picture. But everything else, uh, I'll just see if any time in the future I want it or need it for CC that somebody, or not CC, um, if, if somebody has a building 
that I really like and they're like oh you need this in order for you know it to show up and I'll be like oh okay I'll get that uh, I like this guitar that's actually the guitar that my ultimate sim uses um and I like this stool I don't know why I just think it's cool looking um so yeah I mean, it's nothing like super exciting, but you know, it's more stuff, more stuff to slow my game down. And then we have the Regency Arcade, which is super, super, super cool. And see, this like kind of matches the bedroom and living room stuff, so it might be cool to like put that stuff, you know together with that you got this that's so cute oh hey I, i've got Las, las vegas living open because once again i'm not sure if i got that or not um did i just oh yeah and then future shock bedroom like came up halfway through october just randomly uh and it even has this neat the sharper image super sleeper I think that thing's pretty cool. I'm losing my voice. Uh, yeah, so obviously I like the futuristic stuff, the contemporary stuff, and yeah, uh, of course I have all of that in my game now. Can we, like, not open that up? Okay. And then to go with pets, we had, there was, like, registration items and pre-order items and all of this different stuff uh there was the atomic age pets which has this bed and bowl and then there's the paws and whiskers pre-order costumes and i was a little confused about like i tried looking it up and like some people were saying if you pre-ordered on origin you got these costumes and if you pre-ordered on amazon you got this shop and people were like upset because they pre-ordered from one place and another and it's just really confusing and then there's the i'ms pet starter kit and so got this and i have like good memories of this pet house and it brought back memories so yeah and this needs what is this is that august September? no October, and I am out of it. Okay. All I wanted to do was make this and this centered. That's all I wanted to do. There, beautiful. So yeah, got all that. Um, I did put. Uh, I I filled out this part for next time, but I'm not gonna do it so we we've got pets i've got pets finally and so uh it's gonna be time for appaloosa plains so yeah that's exciting appaloosa plains i've already start working on some you know stuff with the sims and oh there's just so much going on and i did mention it town life stuff came out in that time too right i hope i did i'm out of it i i have been working on this like the entire day an embarrassing amount of time i've been working on this so yeah but it'll all be worth it when it's all done but there's so much that still needs to be done you know can i see the sections now there's like So you got 2012, and then here I'll just scan down 2013, and then 2014. And I know 2014 is not all, but look at all this. There's so much left to do. And then I was like, oh, oh, it's not too bad because um, I don't have that many towns left, or I'm doing really good on getting all the towns. Where is this? So then I looked yesterday, Hidden Springs is number four, or 
four. Hidden Springs is number six. I've still got 12 more to go. I am like exhausted trying to get all this stuff done. And that totally did not make me feel better when I saw that. So yeah, um, <laughs> it will be worth it. I keep telling myself it will be worth it. And the thing that really sucks is I have like all these ideas of things that I want to do once I get started actually playing and done adding everything and I can't get to it. Yeah, very frustrating. So I wasn't originally going to show you town life stuff because I was like, you know, there's nothing all that interesting in it. I completely forgot that it comes with a ton of rabbit holes. This is one of those stuff packs. If you're only going to get a couple stuff packs, it is totally worth it. Okay, so um, you got the Par Excellence Preparatory School, which I sometimes put down as like an elementary school. If I've got a lot of Sims, I can make in one school an elementary school and another school a high school. You've got the Fresh and Frozen Express grocer. Nothing exciting, but hey, it's a different, you know, rabbit hole. Scrumptious Nibbles Cafe, which is in the image, the thumbnail. Um, really, really, really like this building. I just think it looks so nice. I enjoy when... The Sims come out and they sit outside and eat. It's just so nice. Sudsy so Time Laundry, just another laundry mat, but it's really nice looking. You know, I know I'm saying nice a lot. Uh, Mr. Crunch's Fitness, just another, <laughs> you guessed it, nice building. Uh, Noble Tome Library. I really like the um, modern look of this. I, it's a good use of the different space. I, you got this nice area here for the little ones, and you could sit and read them their books and scale them faster. Another park, always nice to have parks for the kiddos. And um, yeah, these seats, you know, nothing exciting, but it does come with, you know, some modern and contemporary looking stuff. And remember when I had been showing you the different laundry stuff that came in that big store pack of laundry stuff? And I was like, I think that's the washer and dryer I usually use. I was wrong. This is the washer and dryer that I usually use because I like how the two fit together like that. That's so neat. Um, some more, you know, things for the gym. Nothing exciting, but it's nice to have some decorations, you know. Uh, like I said, more contemporary, modern type stuff. I really like this fountain. It's pretty cool. I was surprised that this treehouse came with this pack. I just assumed it had come with generations, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, it says down in the comments that they didn't put in the things that came with the kids, says uh great guide but missing the clothes and hairstyles for children this pack came with i'm not gonna bother i'm kind of getting sick of these short bobs you know i like this hair but this you know i'm starting to get really sick of all of these new packs seem to be coming with that nothing exciting here um i actually don't like like this and this but you know, it's just mostly it's like workout clothes. This is a nice workout clothes there. Uh, I use this shirt a lot on the guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to really quick show you the different stuff that came with Town Life stuff because actually I forgot that it came with so many cool things. So yeah. Uh, like I said, if you're going to get one pack, this is definitely a good pack because it comes with some really neat rabbit holes that you can put in your neighborhood. And all right, well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.